to the east end of London on a cold but dry night for the second round, second leg, the Mill Cup tie between West Ham United and Bury. Bill Barnes leading out the uh, West Ham side. A West Ham side that won the uh, first leg game by two goals to one against this fourth division side, Bury, who are very welcome visitors to London. This is the West Ham side. We'll take you through them in a moment. We're waiting for the uh, Berry side to uh, to come out, make an appearance here at uh, Upton Park. And uh, Berry and uh, West Ham are old enemies in the sense that they have met 54 times in their league matches, but only uh, on uh, one occasion, way back in 1919 and 1920, in a, in a cup tie. That was a second round FA Cup tie. The West Ham side out on the uh, pitch at the moment. Phil Parks up there in goal. Ray Stewart, the right back, Steve Walford wearing number three, Bill Bonds, the captain, wearing four, Alvin Martin, five, and Alvin Martin uh, in between uh, Bill Bonds and the big man, Ray Stewart. Uh, Alan Devonshire, six, Paul Allen, seven, Tony Cody, eight, David Swindlehurst, nine, and Trevor Brooking, ten, and Jeff Pike wearing eleven. And now we welcome the Berry side, led by their captain, Joe Jacob they get a nice warm London welcome. Barry side, as I say, lost in the uh, first leg by two goals to one. Didn't play very well in the first half of that game and uh, fell behind after 16 minutes to uh, Paul Goddard goal. Then they came back in the second half and uh, really uh, put it to the Hammers to hang on up there. Hammers eventually winning with uh, Neil Orr coming on as a substitute and getting the winning goal. Let's run down the uh, Berry side for you. In goal, they have David Brown. At right back, wearing the number two, Paul Garner, 26-year-old. In wearing three, Terry Pashley. In four, Gordon Coleman, formerly with Preston, signed from them this season. Wearing the number five, Paul Hilton, the former schoolboy international. In six, John Bramhall. Wearing seven, Eric Potts. And Eric, of course, been around the scene for quite some time, an experienced player. Wearing eight, Wayne Entwistle, that's a change in the uh, side from the first leg. Derek Spence, the Northern Ireland international, wearing nine. Joe Jacko wearing ten. And wearing number 11 is Nicky DC. He comes in and Frank Caradas is down on the bench wearing the 12 shirt. The referee tonight is uh, David Letts from Basingstoke and he's going to be assisted on the lines by Mr. Uh, PJ Brennan from uh, Banfleet in Essex. He'll ha carry the red flag and uh, wearing and uh, carrying the yellow flag will be Mr. D.A. Doherty. There's David Letts from Basingstoke, an experienced referee. Checking everything as uh, referees have to do in these games. Check to see that uh, everything on the pitch is okay. Down, of course, we have the uh, West Ham mascot. There he is, enjoying his little kick around with the senior players. Shipping the ball back to uh, Neil Orr, and he did it pretty well. Billy Bonds, the uh, West Ham captain, making his way down, but uh, he's beaten. Joe Jacob is there first. The two captains and the mascot, Billy Bonds, introducing the mascot to the uh, referee. And... Uh, the mascot even has a word for the uh, visiting captain, Joe Jackman. Bill Bonds and Joe to uh, toss. Not a lot of breeze here at uh, Upton Park. And the teams are going to play as they are. Very side playing from left to right. And the big crowd still coming in here to uh, East London to see this game, the home of the Hammers. And of course, the great singing before this uh, game got on the way of uh, the bubble sound. Known all over the world for by West Ham supporters. Backing the terraces on both sides of the ground. As I said, a cold night, but uh, an interesting game coming up. Very to start the ball rolling. 2-1 down on the first leg. 
Gordon Coleman to start the game wearing the number four. He starts the game. Puts it back to Paul Gardner. Straight into the middle, but that's cut out there by the big Alvin Martin. He pushes the ball through, but uh, there's a ricochet off of David Swindlehurst. But it comes out to Coleman, and he clears. Tries to set Barry on the way. Alvin Martin coming across and clearing the West Ham lines. Finds Devonshire, but Devonshire taken from behind by Coleman. Free kick taken to Jeff. To Jeff Pike. Across the far side. Tries to find Paul Allen. Paul Allen is bustled out of the uh, referee is uh, giving a free kick to West Ham for that uh, tackle over there on Paul Allen. Well, they decide to take a throw in, which was very nice of Ray Stewart. Through the ball, West Ham get it back again. And here's Bonds going to set something up for West Ham. Long ball, through down to Swindler. Swindler's trying to chest it away, gets it to Pike. Pike and uh, Coleman in the tussle. Coleman falling. Pike, a free kick to West Ham. Devonshire over the ball. Steve Walford as well. West Ham tried to set up something here to Tony Cutley. Bonds is in there, header down. Oh yes, and it's got in. A very good goal by Tony Cutley. Your Bonds headed it forward. The feet mix up in the very defence. A good position there. Terry Cashley was trying to get clear it, and Coleman was in there as well. And between Coleman, Cashley and Brown, they messed it up between them. And young Tony Cutley getting in there and sticking it in. After just uh, three minutes play, West Ham take the lead. West Ham won Derry nil. Now it's got to be an uphill fight for this uh, Berry side. Going down very quickly. Is Cody again trying to set up something for West Ham. A good long ball over to Paul Allen. Paul Allen has a man free on the outside. That's Ray Stewart. Stewart back again to Paul Allen. Allen shakes off the tackle of two men, but he's offside over there. Free kick for Berry. Paul Allen, many of you will remember him, of course, uh, making a, a great cup final appearance against Arsenal. Long ball. Up the middle, but Derek Spence, the Northern Ireland International, hustled out over there by Bill Bonds. Back to Parks, to Ray Stewart. Stewart trying to find uh, Cody over there again. Cody beaten off the ball there by uh, Terry Pashley. But the ball out of play, throw into West Ham, taken by uh, Trevor Brooking. Trevor looking around, well, he decides to leave it there. He's going to leave it there for uh, Ray Stewart. Stewart, a good long ball, finds the centre forward, Dave Swindlehurst. Back here on this side to Walford, but Walford uh, loses control and it's Berry. You have it, Coleman inside. Finds Spence, back to Coleman again. Good long ball through the middle, but uh, West Ham have cut out. That's Stewart going back there, putting the ball back to Parks. Good clearance again. Spence, nice turn. Finds the number 10, Joe Jacob, the uh, little dynamo in midfield for Berry. Trevor Brooking trying to get his head in the way and it falls loose. Bit of a scramble in around the goal there. A shot coming in from uh, Gordon Colvin, but uh, well wide. Seven minutes gone and West Ham lead by uh, one goal to nil. The goal scored after three minutes by Tony Cody after a mix-up in the uh, Berry defence. Three of them had the opportunity to clear, failed to do so, and Cody put it home. Here's Phil Parks with a goal kick. Dave Swindlehurst getting up underneath it with Hilton. Pops up in the air. Coleman puts a long ball away over on the far side. Aimless kick from him. Ball out of play. Throw to be taken by... Ray Stewart. Ray Stewart to Alvin Martin. He's got Bonds free inside him. He decides to go to the far side to Ray Stewart. 
Stewart, long ball across here. Ball taken down on his chest by Devonshire, but Devonshire trying to find Swindlehurst. But uh, Hilton comes across, cuts it out, puts the ball into touch. Throw in by Walford to Devonshire. Back to Walford again. Walford, a good, strong cross. Ooh, and very well lucky there. John Bramall missed his header completely. And lucky it ran away from uh, Cody, who was coming in fast. Referee wants the uh, throw in taken in the proper position. Ray Stewart going down to take that. Yes, Barry have an uphill fight. They're being overrun in the middle of the park at the moment with Alan Devonshire brooking. Here's Bonds steaming into the centre. Hilton getting a clear for Barry. Spence and Ray Stewart fighting for it. It's across here to Swindlehurst, but it's taken down by Barry. Not a good clearance. And that's a free kick against uh, Jeff Pike. Jeff Pike fouling uh, Eric Potts there. So Barry can slow it down. This is uh, Nicky DC wearing the number 11 shirt. Uh, the referee is giving a penalty up there, is he? Yes, indeed he is. The referee is giving a penalty up there for a foul by the defender. Well, the ball went into the center and uh, Bill Barnes uh, went for it, so did uh, Ray Stewart, but it's a penalty for Berry. They have a chance to John Bramall. John Bramall taking this penalty for Berry. He can make it one all. John Bramall stepping up. Oh, it hits the post and they've missed it. The rebound put away over the back by Wayne Entwistle. Well, Berry had a chance there, but uh, Bill Barnes still talking to referee David Letts about that uh, decision. He's very unhappy about it, the uh, West Ham captain, but um, Bill Bonds' name has now gone into the book because he had words with the referee. But it's still 1-0 to uh, West Ham. Well, Barry had a great chance of levelling the, uh, levelling the score there, even though it was a very, very debatable decision by the referee. Free kick taken by Parks. Tries to find Swindlehurst. Potts and Spence. A lot of legs moving around there, but instead Devonshire gets it away over the far side to Ray Stewart. Stewart trying to find Swindlehurst again, fails to do so. The ball taken out by uh, Terry Peshley. Up that far side, trying to find uh, Wayne Entwistle. Peshley gets it back again, has a man free Hilton, but Hilton's going to be robbed. Tommy Cuddy gets in there in front of him, finds Paul Allen, Allen to Brooking. This is nice build up by West Ham. Brooking has two men free. He's got Walford and this side he finds Walford. Walford inside to Pike, but that's cut out by Potts. Potts back inside to uh, Coleman. Coleman forward, but uh, West Ham tidied that up through uh, Walford. Bill Bonds to start another attack for West Ham. He wants Swindlehurst forward. Fires a long ball to Swindlehurst, but it's taken out by the Berry defender, Terry Pashley. He finds Spence up there, but Spence can't do anything with it. And it's back to Bonds. Bonds, Swindlehurst, finding Brooking over this side to Devonshire. Back in Devonshire, here it is. He's got Walford steaming down his outside, but that's a bad ball from uh, Devonshire. But Berry still don't clear it away. Now they do. They take it away. Long ball up the middle. And West Ham easily control that. Bonds. Good ball from Bonds. Inside for Tony Cody. He turns well. And tries a shot from outside the area. That's well covered by David. This is David Brown, one of the best goalkeepers in the uh, fourth division. Long, long clearance up. Alvin Martin and Spence going for it. Spence gets it back, but that's a bad uh, ball. He was trying to find Hilton, who has uh, moved up to uh, the uh, forward positions. But the referee uh, deciding over there that a uh, little bit of leg up and a free kick to uh, West Ham. This is Ray Stewart. 
Ray Stewart incidentally making his uh, 50th cup appearance for West Ham tonight finds Swindlehurst tries to find Brooking but it's taken out there by uh, Paul Hilton inside for the number 8 and that's for Wayne Entwistle to Spence a long ball over this side of the ground trying to find Potts but it's uh, too short cut out by West Ham as Barry try to make a build up but Paul Gardner's shot too high and into the safe hands of Phil Parks up there there's no way that Barry will get anything uh, trying to uh, get past the West Ham defence if they try long shots from that far Phil Parks is not going to be caught even on a cold night with shots like that here's another West Ham attack down the far side this time with uh, Paul Allen Paul Allen being faced by Terry Pashley gets around him on the far side Pashley comes back finds a man loose inside and that was Joe Jacob the uh, Barry captain ball out of play throw into Barry the uh, Barry side uh, fighting an uphill battle now one goal down and after missing a penalty and losing 2-1 on the first leg let's see if they can do anything from this position on the halfway line Bonds tussling over there with Wayne Entwistle ball out of play Joe Jacob nice ball back but here again Barry are playing into the West Ham side by putting high balls up there because you've got Bill Bonds, Ray Stewart and Walford all very tall six foot men who can clear it out here's Barry on another attack with Paul Gardner inside trying to find Coleman, Coleman tackled again by Pike and that's the uh, second rough tackle that Pike has uh, committed on uh, Gordon Coleman free kick to Barry Spence calling for it away on the far side of the penalty box chipped in three of them run for it chipped in but uh, well Spence is trying to get at it and uh, he does but instead he rolls the ball back to uh, Parks there was no one else around to give him a helping hand Parks finds Devonshire over on the far side Devonshire confronted by Joe Jacob Devonshire inside to Swindlehurst Swindlehurst trying to leave it for booking but away come Barry through Paul Gardner Gardner over on the far side finds Potts Potts dribbling into the well inside the West Ham half finds Spence over on the far side left with a shot for him coming over the far side and Parks misses completely as the uh, Wayne Entwistle the Berry striker went in on top of him but the referee David Letts decides that uh, Parks was fouled Parks clears for West Ham gives it over this side to uh, Jeff Pike right down underneath as he finds Devonshire Devonshire forward for Brooklyn nice build up again from West Ham good ball from Brooking crossing this side to Pike Pike back to Brooking they're cutting it a bit short here's Walford coming in behind Brooking tries to get it across cut out by Potts and Potts puts it into touch nice little build up by West Ham but they're inclined to overdo it a little bit this is Walford formerly of Arsenal of course this is the Devonshire and that ball cut out uh, the fullback but again not clear this is where Barry fell into trouble in the first three minutes tapping the ball around their own penalty box and they went a goal behind through Tony Cody West Ham won Barry nil in the second round second leg gamer here at Upton Park Bonds clearing that ball oh Chris Hilton and uh, Trevor Booking went in there a bit late that boot came in from Brooking a little bit late not meant of course Trevor Brooking one of the gentlemen in football free kick to be taken by Nicky DC over to the far side but here come the big West Ham men but they didn't get to it and that's a good shot a very good header down first of all and Wayne Entwistle getting on the end of it but he struck his straight at Phil Parks yes Barry could have made something out of that long clearance taken out again by John Bramall to Spence trying to find Jacob up the far side but that's cut out by Ray Stewart free kick in the far side oh, throw in just below the halfway line for Barry Barry have to start all over again build from deep inside their own half long ball again long ball trying to find their uh, Wayne Entwistle there striker he he cuts it across to Potts but uh, there's a uh, pike to tidy it all up again for West Ham bit scrappy this uh, game at the moment 
Here's Walford. To Alvin Martin. See if Martin can set up something for West Ham. Forward to Swindlehurst. Swindlehurst over to the right to uh, Ray Stewart. But then again, it's cut back. Little passes going astray from uh, West Ham. Here's Bond. He's got Walford free this side. Here's Walford cutting well into the very half. Forward again, but uh, that's cut out. Aim for Brooking, but uh, too far forward. Here's Devonshire. He gets it back. Coleman losing out there and Gardner losing out. Cross ball, and that's taken out by Potts, but a good effort, good cross by Trevor Brooking, but taken out by David Brown. Brown, a long ball up the middle. Martin rises for it, heads it down, but it falls to the uh, very midfield man. Gordon Coleman, he pushes it forward trying to find Entwistle, but Bonds is up there to tidy it all up for West Ham to Walford, and Walford clears it right down this uh, near touch line into Spence, Spence tried to set something up but Bonds races across his own penalty area, a long loose ball from Bonds that time, but he was, he was fast enough and speedy enough he's got Devonshire free on this side but it hits Spence bit unlucky for Bonds, he had, a, he had good intentions because Devonshire was free on this side Berry winning the ball in midfield through Coleman, Coleman over to Pashley, back to Coleman again, he's got Pashley running on the far wing, forward to Spence, blonde here at Northern Ireland International, pushes the ball back, they got to build it all again, just inside the West Ham half, long ball across the goal, but uh, there's Alvin Martin, England International to clear it down onto the halfway line, headed forward by Swindlehurst, there's no one there, only the uh, very defender, Pashley, who Swings it across this side to Nick DC. DC wearing the number 11 uh, jersey, playing back there. Long ball. Finds Spence with that good header. Shot from him and easily saved by Cox. Good attempt from Spence from uh, 25 yards out. Ray Stewart. Long ball again. And the linesman flagging there for a foul by DC on the West Ham player. So a free kick to West Ham. 21 minutes gone in this game at Upton Park. Free kick to be taken by Ray Stewart. Bill Bonds calling for it on this side of the penalty box. There's the free kick. Over to the far side there, Rice for it. And that's a great goal. Bill Bonds and that's number two for West Ham a very well struck free kick from the far side by Ray Stewart and when every one of the Berry defence were watching Bill Bonds and his run it was Alvin Martin who came right in behind him and he stuck it into the far corner 2-0 to West Ham Berry now in real trouble. They have to go forward, but they have a chance here. But here again, the West Ham side, well, they tidy up, but uh, one of the Berry forwards offside. Spence running offside. Bonds wants the West Ham side to cool it all down. Pushes the ball back to uh, Phil Parks. Now we should see some uh, exciting football from West Ham. They have a two-goal lead here. They won the first leg 2-1, so they're winning 3-1 on aggregate. Comfortable position to be in. Here's another run from Paul Allen on the far side. Tries a shot. But it runs forward to Cody. Cody beats Brown there. Got another chance here for Brooking. He could make it three and seal this game up. But uh, it ran away from Brooking. He allowed it to run away from him. And his dead Berry came away. This is Hilton. Back here from Spence finding Hilton over on the far side. Being confronted by Martin. Martin still kept the ball in play. Hilton wants to throw in. But Martin keeps it in play. Finds Swindlehurst. Swindlehurst back to Brooking. Brooking's got uh, Walford down this side. Walford up over the halfway line, being confronted by Potts, finds Pike inside. Pike leaves the run a little bit too far, but he gets it back, gets a great shot back from uh, Swindlehurst, and a good shot coming in from Pike. But Brown had narrowed the angle, come off his line. Over this side, Walford gets his head to it. A lot of low headers going in on this side of the ground, one from Devonshire and one from uh, Gardner. Cross ball on the far side, but there's no one there. Entwistle trying to set up something for Barry, but instead it's uh, Ray Stewart finding Cody over there. 
who scored for West Ham after three minutes. Nice ball into the middle, but that's taken out by Gordon Coleman. Coleman just a little bit too far ahead for Terry Pashley. But Berry, two goals down. They've been overrun a little bit in uh, the middle of the field. West Ham, two goals up through two very fine goals. Can they get a third one? But uh, not at the moment, because uh, David Letts says that uh, Swindlehurst was uh, pushing on John Bramall there. Free kick to Berry. David Brown. Throws it out to uh, Terry Pashley. Let's see if he can build something on the far side for Berry. Yes, the linesman's flag, the whole West Ham and the whole ground knew that uh, Derek Spence was offside there. Bill Bonds with the free kick for West Ham. Long ball, final Swindlehurst again, tries to find Swindlehurst, but uh, Swindlehurst misses it completely and uh, Gardner allows the ball to run loose and then he has to foul Devonshire. Instead of clearing the ball when he had the opportunity, this is what's been happening with the buried defence. They're trying to uh, sort of play some uh, football around their own penalty area, and it's cost them, uh, well, it's certainly cost them the first goal, being too cool. Free kick for West Ham just outside the penalty box. The Berry wall are lining up, a five man wall. That's what uh, David Brown wants. Brooking, Devonshire standing over it. Swindlehurst to uh, Brooking's right. Yes, it is for Swindlehurst. He takes a shot, ricochets off the uh, Berry defence. But they don't clear it completely. Paul Allen finding uh, Alvin Martin free over on the right. Alvin Martin being confronted by uh, John Bramall. Gets it across. Bonds is in there, but uh, there's no direction. And Brown has to come out of his goal. It's across again. And West Hammer there. And the Berry defence can't get this away. And then eventually it's Sticky DC who heads it over his own end line. But... Uh, Referee is uh, saying that the, the West Ham forwards found the uh, goalkeeper. So the referee is sending David Brown back to take the uh, free kick. He takes it from inside. But there again, the buried defence at sixes and sevens. A lot of big West Ham men in there. And uh, instead of clearing the ball, putting it anywhere, Berry tried to play it out of defence. And that's a very dangerous thing to do with West Ham. Berry, two goals down. 26 minutes gone in this uh, second round, second leg game at Upton Park. Throw in Terry Pashley over there for Berry. Gets it back, pushes it into the area. Spence offside again, inside Bonds, and the ball was played. Bonds just turns it back to uh, Phil Parks. Parks a long, long clearance, trying to find Swindlehurst. He does. Swindlehurst tips it back but there's no West Ham player there here's Berry over this side to uh, Potts Potts trying to find and set up something for them but he fails to do so this is Walford Walford to Devonshire back to Bonds Bonds forward again a good ball to uh, Walford he takes it under control nice ball inside to Brooking Brooking goes around his man and yes a good goal from Trevor Brooking a great goal so easy for the former England international body check inside the area Put the very defence to one side, pulled the ball back and struck it past David Brown. That's 3-0 for West Ham. And of course, this is uh, Trevor Brooking's last season here at uh, West Ham. And that's a fine cup goal. Here's West Ham again. This time it's Swindlehurst trying to find Pike cut out by Coleman over the far side to Hilton Hilton to this side and that's taken out by Devonshire Devonshire inside to Swindlehurst chance for West Ham to build here again this is Devonshire he's got Walford on the outside and referee David Letts right on the spot says that Paul Gardner is uh, tapping at Devonshire's ankles free kick to West Ham Devonshire to Walford Devonshire running at the defence Inside to Brooking, nice little back healer from Brooking, it's not clear yet, it's to Walford, right out here on the corner, he swings it across the goal, the big West Ham men are in there and lucky enough the ball bounces clear and it's pushed further out by Hilton, over to the uh, Berry captain and he now has a very difficult job on his hands trying to pull his side back into this game there, three goals down and we're just uh, into the 29th minute of the game. 
Long ball from Berry, forward to Spence, but Spence again cut offside. Bill Barnes. Complete institution, of course, uh, down here at Upton Park. Bill Barnes been here all his life. Here's West Ham building again. This is Cote, who scored the first goal. Trying to get around Hilton. Gardner pushes the ball back in again. And this is where Barry are running into trouble. They're trying these short passes even in the air. And there's a lot of big West Ham players around. Throw in to Walford. Walford, a long ball, but that should be the goalkeeper's. Yes, it is. David Brown, safe pair of hands. As I said, the best goalkeeper in the uh, fourth division. But uh, I don't think you could blame him with any... Well, you certainly could uh, fault him for the first goal that went in tonight, but not for the other two. Very good goalkeeper. But I definitely thought he should have uh, smothered uh, the ball before Cody put West Ham one up after three minutes. This is Bonds. Tussling up there with Coleman. Runs out off of Bonds, and it's a throw into Barry. Here's Terry Pashley. Strong, tough defender for Barry. Throws it into Coleman. Back to Pashley again. Back to Coleman. Coleman across the penalty box, headed forward. And there's a chance here for Entwistle, but again, he uh, gets around the back of Alvin Martin. But it was cleared. Got around the back of Walford. Here's West Ham. Building again. Good ball. Alan Devonshire on this side. Great ball from uh, Paul Allen. Finding Devonshire free down in front of us. Gardner comes to him. Devonshire takes it inside him. Trying to find uh, Cody in there, but instead is taken away by uh, Wayne Entwistle. He tidies it all up and gives it back to uh, David Brown and goal. Bill Barnes. Forward Spence. Spence to Entwistle. Entwistle up the line, but uh, offside. This time it was Paul Hilton was up there. Free kick to West Ham, taken by Walford. Rolls it across to Alvin Martin. Alvin Martin looking ahead of him, trying to find a player aimed it for centre forward Swindlehurst, but it was cut out. Gardner chips it forward. Bond and Spence having a great tussle there. But at the moment, Bonds is winning that uh, battle between himself and the Northern Ireland international hands down. Back to uh, right full back, Paul Gardner. Gardner forward, trying to find uh, Spence. Out of play, goal kick. Phil Parks making his uh, 50th appearance in uh, cup matches for... Uh, West Ham tonight, formerly of course with the uh, Queen's Park Rangers. Long clearance from him. Taken down by the Berry defence. Back ball back in midfield. Martin finding Stewart. Stewart forward, but there's no West Ham player in that area. The only man there was uh, Terry Pashley. And uh, he finds John Bramall, and Bramall puts it back to uh, David Brown. Brown a long clearance way into the West Ham half there's Spence and Bonds tussling again this time Spence wins the tussle because Bonds fouls him free kick to uh, Berry. that's Joe Jacob the uh, Berry captain he can really hit them this boy he can really hit them with his left foot Yeah, Joe is going to have a go I think but the uh, two West Ham players coming to the wall no he's not he's going to leave it the chip forward headed on further but uh, headed clear gone out for a corner off the head of uh, Steve Walford this is the uh, corner first corner to Berry. corner kick to be taken there it is John Paul Coleman heading it in or hitting it in but uh, it comes to Entwistle he puts it back again to uh, Paul Gardner this time Gardner taking on Pike, runs around and gets across in, far post, Parks comes out, boxes it away and finds Paul Allen. Allen with Bonds running outside, but Allen decides to take it in midfield, rounds three players, but he can't run the whole lot. 
he needed a bit of assistance Coleman cuts it out Hilton across the far side free kick against the uh, West Ham players in midfield looked like uh, Jeff Pike was uh, saying something referee didn't like it free kick to uh, Barry Joe Jacob he's going to leave it to Nicky DC to hit one DC pops it into the West Ham area goes off the head and that's a good chance a good chance fell there for uh, Barry to uh, John Bramwell and he nearly put it in but Ray Stewart cut it out and cleared it for West Ham across the area trying to find across the middle of the park now trying to find Brooking Brooking again chasing it over the far side Terry Pashley over there with him ball runs loose but it's back to Pashley can he build and do something for Barry inside there's a good chance for Barry a nice build up Coleman over this side to Wayne Entwistle we Entwistle left footed back into the penalty area again the race for it but there's no one there except uh, Paul Allen to clear it up he pushes it back to Phil Parks 35 minutes gone in this game West Ham lead by three goals to nil the goal scores by Cody after three minutes then Alvin Martin after 22 and Trevor Brooking in the 27 minute Barry trying to build again captain Joe Jacob running across the halfway line ball bounces off of him Bill Bonds in the clearance Phil Parks coming out of his goal and he's got to bang it into touch well he didn't he played a nice ball down the down the line West Ham have it Devonshire taken out by Martin to Bonds Bonds a short ball but that's a good recovery by Paul Allen forward to Brooking Brooking has got Pike free underneath us here and Pike pushes it forward again to Brooking Brooking's got Walford coming down to help him Walford long left footer shot far side good attempt but over the top that is a very good effort by Swindlehurst got into the right position very good pass from Walford hit first time but over the top David Brown long goal kick Ray Stewart puts it back for Swindlehurst and Pashley to rise for it comes down to the Berry captain he puts it back to Pashley but they lose it again here Swindlehurst to Brooking if Brooking can get his toe at it he had Devonshire free on this side end whistle inside uh, get away from Alan Devonshire but it falls to Pike Jeff Pike forward for West Ham to Swindlehurst Swindler good ball back from Matt Pike and he finds Allen free on the far side Allen's got the whole West Ham side lining up but his attempted cross hits the back of the uh, Berry captain Joe Jacob out for a corner Trevor Brooking to take it it'll be an in swinger even though he has Paul Allen lurking over there for the short one Trevor's going to hit a long one Bill Bonds, Alvin Martin, all hanging about the penalty area. Cross, it falls loose, comes back down to Ray Stewart. He tries it in an attempt to Walford. This time it was Walford had to go. Back to Brooking, across the goal. Bonds gets his head to it, and there it's in again. Bonds chipping it forward with his head, and the little man was underneath it again. Tony Cody, and he gets the second goal for the night, the fourth for West Ham. West Ham now lead Derry by four goals to nil. Derry not clearing the ball it went back to Brooking Brooking took his time put a nice ball across Bonds heads it forward and Cody was in underneath it to stick it into the roof of the net again 4-0 for West Ham Derry trying to build something Bonds cutting it out for West Ham but a free kick to uh, West Ham this is Walford Walford putting it forward to uh, Devonshire faced by Entwistle Devonshire finds Brooking Brooking to Cody but that's cut out by the uh, very defender Nicky DC there's Chris Hilton being uh, there's Paul Hilton being fouled by uh, Swindlehurst free kick for Barry
over the far side falls down to uh, Pike Pike plenty of space rolls it back to uh, Phil Parks and in turn pushes it forward to uh, Ray Stewart Stewart decides that everyone is covered Bonds wants everyone to come downfield puts the ball back to uh, Pike to uh, Parks long ball again finds Swindlehurst West Ham again picking up the pieces from uh, these long balls down to uh, Swindlehurst this is Paul Gardner for Berry. Long ball forward. Nice back flick there from uh, Ben Twistle. But it's West Ham who tidy it all up. Bonds trying to find Cody. Nice ball inside from Swindlehurst to Brooking again. Brooking back to Swindlehurst right on the uh, touchline. Swindlehurst crosses to Brooking. Falls down to uh, Brooking again. With three very defenders there. Brooking can't do anything. Just poke it forward a little bit. David Brown tidying it up for Barry. This is Spence. Hilton to Jacob. Jacob being faced by Ray Stewart. Has Pashley running outside. Puts Tracer Buddha forward to find Spence, but is taken away by West Ham. This is Martin clearing it forward to Swindlehurst. Swindlehurst inside again to Brooking. Brooking over this far side to Devonshire. Devonshire and Potts going for it. Devonshire chips it forward. This is Paul Gardner. He's got uh, Brown waiting behind. Brown. Right out to the uh, angle of his area. Pierce Ruberry. Walford's header forward only finds a Berry man and Bill Bonds' kick screws back towards his own goal and uh, Entwistle was in there came off of him but a goal kick to West Ham Parks to Bonds Bonds finds Swindlehurst hits the referee it falls back again for West Ham this is Devonshire he's got uh, Paul Allen free on the far side here's uh, Ray Stewart who made a great run Devonshire didn't find him with the original pass he found Allen instead this is uh, Terry Pashley and Ray Stewart tussling for it over to the corner flag the ball goes out off of uh, Ray Stewart throw in to Berry Well, Jimmy Alley will certainly have something to say to the Barry defenders after this uh, first half, uh, after leaving in four goals. They have been uh, tip-tapping around instead of clearing the ball, and then up front they didn't seem to have an awful lot of ideas coming from the midfield. Long balls up the uh, up to the uh, West Ham defenders is uh, just like uh, chicken feed for Bill Barnes and these big guys in the West Ham defence, Alvin Martin, Ray Stewart and uh, Steve Walford. This is Barnes again. Finding Walford on this side. Walford gets Potts to run away. And then finds a great ball. That's a beautiful ball from uh, Walford. He finds Allen free on the far side. Allen, long ball. Here's a uh, great goal. A beautiful goal. Cody was moving in all the time. And the two youngsters combined together. A cracking goal to make it 5-0 to West Ham. And that's the best goal of the night. A brilliant ball from Steve Walford on this side of the pitch. He found Paul Allen free on the far side. Allen took the ball under control, took it a pace forward and hit it smack bang into the middle. And Cody was running in. Tony Cody got his hand at the end of it and that was it. No chance for Brown. Three goals for Cody, five for West Ham. This is Ray Stewart. Tried to make it a half a dozen for West Ham. And there's Cody again getting in behind the Berry defence. He has really caused them big problems tonight. So that's a 42-minute hat-trick for Cody. He scored after three minutes. And then one from Martin in the 22nd, one from Brooking in the 27th. And Cody came back in the 38th and the 42nd minute. Six goals to nil for West Ham. Cody getting three of them five goals to nil five goals to nil and Tony Cody has his name on three of them Trevor Brooking one and Alvin Martin one so the uh, 
fourth division side completely outplayed here by West Ham who are on song tonight doing everything simply and doing everything right here's Ray Stewart again inside to uh, Cody he's all over the place he's a real thorn in the Berry side tonight young Tony Cody free kick over there Paul Allen being found by Terry Pashley free kick to be taken by uh, Ray Stewart forward and Swindlehurst offside over there linesman Dave Doherty from uh, Bexley on sea down in Sussex citing that uh, Swindlehurst had moved free kick to Berry. long ball forward Walford cuts that out for West Ham ball falls down to Paul Gardner Gardner's attempted pass cut out by Pike into Brooking Brooking has Walford free this side Walford forward trying to find Devon Shear but that's cut out by the Berry side over here to uh, Potts this little red-headed winger for Berry but he loses out in the tussle to Devonshire but Devonshire puts the ball out of play this is Wayne Entwistle can he do something that's a good ball over the far side to Terry Pashley Pashley and uh, Ray Stewart clash for it and uh, the tidying up being done over there by Dave Swindlehurst Parks out this side to Walford again Walford inside to Pike Pike to Martin Martin's got Stewart free on the far side instead he runs through the middle himself Brooking Brooking turns beautifully inside the defender that time Brooking on his way through chipped it forward oh and he hit the upright oh that deserved the goal from Trevor Brooking a cheeky chip over the goalkeeper who had advanced off his line well West Ham still in control of this ball into Cody Cody forward to Smithlehurst Cody again and he chips it forward oh and it's just outside that far upright it could have been four for the little lad great build up by West Ham Devonshire and Brooking really on song finding this little man Tony Cody and Cody causing havoc to the Berry defenders they just don't know where this little fellow is gonna pop up but when he does things happen this is Alvin Martin taking it down to Jeff Pike Pike got Paul Allen free over on the far side Allen being confronted by the Berry captain Paul Allen Ray Stewart says leave it to me and Paul just does that Stewart throws it back to Bill Bonds. Bill Bonds got uh, Walford free this side, but instead he tries it up the middle this time for Swindlehurst. Doesn't reach him, but it does now come to Walford. Walford up over the halfway line, taking the game to Berry again. Walford free to Devonshire. Back to Walford. Walford again with his left foot. Nice cross. Old Brown got to it and got it away. Another chance of West Ham. Swindlehurst uh, trying to uh, control the shot that came in from Paul Allen. Handles the ball. And it goes straight back to uh, David Brown, who I think has knocked himself out. Well, he's still in the ground. Took a bang that time. And the referee, uh, David Letts, from Basingstoke, gone down there to have a look at him. Trainer on the uh, pitch. Just looks as if he got a bang in the, uh, bang in the face. But he made a great save from uh, Walford's cross originally. This is Brooking, Trevor Brooking, playing, of course, in his last season here at uh, Upton Park. Going over to talk to Bill Bonds, the two of them there. Two of the great players that West Ham have had over the years. Two of them really enjoying this game. David Potts, recover David Brown recovering there from his knock gets a nice uh, reception from the uh, West Ham supporters West Ham 5 very nil as we come up to uh, half time in this the uh, second leg second round second leg game here at Upton Park
This is Berry trying to build over there, but that's big Alvin Martin. Still playing around, still being confronted by Terry Pashley, but uh, big Alvin gets it away. Finds Dave Swindlehurst. Swindlehurst trying to find Allen. It falls loose. This is Bramall. But Bramall can't get a clear race. Stewart does, and he's finding Tommy Cody again. This Paul Gardner and Cody racing for it. But uh, before Trevor Brooking can set up anything, Col Gordon Coleman got in there. Back to Alvin Martin. Martin again, a long ball taken out by DC to Spence. Derek Spence inside to Potts. Potts forward to Jacob. Let's see if the Berry captain can build something out of this before half time. Jacob races into the West Ham area. That's Spence taking it off him. And uh, Spence running the ball out over the end line. Goal kick. And that's it. David Letts of Bacon so brings the uh, first half to a close. Here at Upton Park with West Ham leading by five goals to nil. And uh, their manager John Lyle can be well pleased with their performance and certainly with the performance of young Tony Cote, the number eight, trooping off there behind the uh, very defender Paul Gardner. Cote getting three goals. So at halftime at Upton Park, it's West Ham United five, Berry nil. So here we go for the uh, second half of this uh, second leg, second round, Milk Cup match here at Upton Park. A cold but dry night in East London and uh, the East London fans certainly delighted with the first half display from uh, West Ham. They win by, they lead by five goals to nil. This is Swindlehurst, starts the second half to uh, Tony Cody and away we go. Back here to Ray Stewart. Stewart to Martin, long ball again. West Ham testing out this Berry defence. Ball out of play. Well, I'm sure John Lyle was uh, very happy with that uh, first half display by West Ham. He didn't have an awful lot to say, but uh, his opposite number, Jimmy Lee, certainly must have sorted out this uh, fourth division side. Told them a thing or two that they've got to clear their defence. This is Terry Pashley down in front of us. Terry Pashley trying to set up something, but that's taken away by Pike to Swindlehurst, to Devonshire. Devonshire, a big thorn in the side of Berry tonight. Devonshire being confronted over there by Paul Gardner. Gets inside him, looks for an angle. Coleman comes across, taken down to Brooking. Brooking has an angle here, but he's smothered out of it. And that's cleared by Potts to Spence. Spence has no one over there. Goes back to Potts. Potts into the middle. Into plenty of space for uh, Ray Stewart. Stewart forward to Swindlehurst. Swindlehurst loses his legs there to a tackle from John Bramall. Free to West Ham. Yes, the Hammer supporters in uh, great form down here. They win by they lead by five goals to nil at the moment, having won the first leg off at Berry by two goals to one. Brooking standing over the ball here. Maybe Ray Stewart will come in behind. No, it's Brooking, but it's chipped. Tries it forward, and that's a great attempt from Martin coming in at the back. Alvin Martin stealing around the back of the Berry defence. Very near, just over the top. David Brown. Long kick again. But uh, that's Entwistle uh, losing out there to... Uh, Entwistle losing out to Alvin Martin and instead Bonds and uh, Spencer collide. Well, they've had a tussle all night. Spencer is down. Derek Spence, the Northern Ireland international, down holding his ankle. Free kick against Billy Bonds in West Ham. There's the magic sponge coming out. The magic sponge for uh, Derek Spence's uh, ankle. There you go. And the magic sponge disappears. Referee gone back there, having a word with Bill Bonds about that tackle. Joe Jacob to take the uh, free kick. Inside the West Ham half left-footed drives it forward Alvin Martin rises for it he only puts it up in the air it falls down in the area again Spence trying to get a shot at it but it's hustled away and moved away by West Ham but it only comes back to the Berry captain again he's running left tries to find Potts Potts and uh, Walford in a collision over there the ball runs loose it comes back to uh, Bramall 
takes a shot, but uh, Parks is well behind it. He saw it from a long way. And Phil Parks clears. Quick free kick by uh, Parks. Trying to find that little man that caused all the havoc in the first half, Tony Cody. But this is the uh, Berry captain over this side. To went whistle, but that's taken away by Pike. He's got uh, Paul Allen down here in front of us. Paul Allen looking around. Long ball over the far side, trying to find Swindlehurst. He found him. Ashley clearing for Derry. Comes forward to the captain again, but uh, offside. Linesman's flag on the far side up there. Where uh, Wayne Entwistle was offside. Bill Bonds going to take that free. Free kick to uh, West Ham. Bill Bonds drives it forward. Telling Swindlehurst to get up there. Swindlehurst does. Potts puts a boot at it. Puts it up in the air. Brooking trying to head it down. And eventually Barry clear it. Onto the halfway line. Entwistle inside. Trying to find Spence. Spence loses out to Pike. Pike forward. And here's Cody again. And three of the Barry defenders are after him. But uh, he shoots. And it's well saved by the goalkeeper. David Brown narrowed the angle that time. It looked as if uh, young Tony Cody was on for making it four. But uh, the referee... Hand in the air, blows the whistle, giving a free kick over on the far side to West Ham. He claims that it was uh, a corner. The ball went uh, out over the end line, so it's a corner kick to West Ham. Devonshire over there, going to put it in. Good cross. Bonds trying to get at it, it's, fails to do so, it's cleared. Out this side. Paul Allen putting it back for uh, West Ham. And that's a good ball down to Devonshire. Onto his left foot. Tries a shot from that angle. David Brown over this side. West Ham appealing for uh, the troll, but instead it goes back to uh, Barry defenders. This is uh, Bashley down here in front of us, but it only comes to Ray Stewart. Stewart forward to Swindlehurst. Swindlehurst and Cody in each other's way, but Swindlehurst gets control of the ball, taking on the Barry defence, runs out wide to the right, trying to get it across, and it goes off with the Nicky DC for the corner kick to West Ham. Corner kick for uh, West Ham. And it's Alan Devonshire going to take it, an outswinger this time. Cross to Bill Bonds, Bonds forward, but that's uh, two feet wide of the near upright. Bill Bonds going up for every attack and uh, getting close that time with a header. This is uh, Trevor Brooking in midfield with Paul Hilton, that young uh, former schoolboy international. Long kick. And there's Bonds again. Bonds putting the ball forward again. Trying to find the young Cody. The ball goes out of play over on the far side. And that's uh, a free kick. But Bill Bonds actually is going off. Bill Bonds has... Uh, called it a day, he's gone off and Neil Orr is the man who's coming on Neil Orr comes on for West Ham while they get a throw in over on the far side they're just trying to figure out where uh, Neil Orr is going to uh, take up, what position he's going to take up Neil Orr is going to play in the um, in the middle the number 12 there and uh, uh, nice cheer for him because uh, David Letts running across here uh, fell over. Goal kick taken by goalkeeper uh, David Brown forward and this is Ray Stewart. Stewart forward again, cut out. And here's Neil Orr, the substitute. And that's the first touch he gets in this game and he turns the ball back to uh, the goalkeeper. This is Neil Orr. He actually came on as a substitute in the first game up at Berry, and he scored the winning goal for West Ham. So Neil R on instead of uh, Bill Bonds, who's gone off. Bill Bonds, of course, carrying an injured uh, wrist. 
This is Berry trying to set up something on the far side. Nealor again, tidying it all up at the far end, but the referee says leave play go on even though it looked as if um, one of the Berry players was offside ball forward for West Ham and that's a dangerous uh, dangerous tackle over there by uh, Nicky DC on uh, David Swindlehurst Swindlehurst certainly felt that feels his back David Letts says are you okay Swindlehurst gives him the nod free kick for West Ham Devonshire Devonshire forward taken out by uh, Coleman but there's no one there here's Neil Orr getting into action straight away after coming on as a substitute for Bill Bonds Neil Orr Scottish international forward headed up in the air by DC headed out by Coleman comes down to uh, Swindlehurst to Pike Pike back here to um, Alvin Martin Martin far side trying to find Devonshire Devonshire he does Swindlehurst oh Swindlehurst trying an overhead kick that's a dangerous play by Swindlehurst and he has completely floored well he's got up he's a tough man this Terry Pashley the number three for Berry dangerous uh, dangerous kick he got the uh, Swindlehurst's uh, boot up there high on the head as you can see him rubbing his face there but uh, shakes his head he's okay as I said a tough character goal kick to be taken by uh, David Brown and he rolls it out here to uh, Pashley Ashley, long ball forward, trying to find his captain, Joe Jacko. Ball still in the air, taken down by Spence. Spence to Entwistle. Entwistle over the far side, finds the number two, Paul Gardner coming forward. Gardner, a long ball in here, and there's Spence and Parks going for it, but Parks has that well covered. And he clears it, but in the meantime, the West Ham player down injured, right in the uh, centre circle. And that uh, West Ham player is uh, Trevor Brooking, who is down injured at the moment. Referee David Letts calling on the West Ham trainer to have a look. Trainer down there having a, a look at uh, Trevor Brooking, just got a bang in the head. And as usual, all the uh, players gather round to take a look. Devonshire bringing... Uh, Trevor Brooking back up as you can see he got a bad bang in the mouth there David Letts having a look quite a big crowd here at uh, Upton Park tonight to see this game and certainly they've been pleased with the uh, Hammers uh, performance there's Trevor Brooking in a little bit of agony at the moment got a bad bang in the mouth and he doesn't feel too well there's the crowd behind uh, the goal where uh, West Ham scored all their uh, five in the uh, first half of this game. And a lot of Hammers supporters down there very happy tonight. Cold night in London. With the lead by uh, five goals to nil. The goals coming from uh, Tony Cody after three minutes. Alan, Alvin Martin after 21. That was a great header from a, from a great cross. Then Trevor Brooking got a fabulous goal in the 26th minute. And then, as I said, the young man that's caused all the problems to Barry tonight, young Tony Cody, banging in two more in the 36th and the 40th minute. There's Trevor Brooking. The referee is uh, smiling a little bit about us. Trevor takes, uh, takes a big um, wad of sort of hanky. Got cut inside the mouth there. And... Trevor still seems to be a little bit uncomfortable and maybe they're suggesting to Trevor that he should go off yes I think he should go off Alan Devonshire is telling him the same thing even though West Ham have used their substitute Nilar has come on for Bill Bonds but uh, that looks a nasty injury to Trevor Brooking and he's certainly getting a great reception of course one of the legends here at Upton Park John Lyle, the manager, actually is down at the uh, on the far side, down on the track, and he's talking to Alan Devonshire over there. There you see him. That's John Lyle, the West Ham manager, down talking to uh, Alan Devonshire, and very concerned about the injury to uh, Trevor Brooking. Play continues. This is Brownwell for Berry. Tries to find Spence. Ball runs out of play. throw into West Ham that's back to big Alvin Martin nice turn from him ball across to Neil Orr Neil Orr to Walford 
Walford back to R or to Martin and he's got Devonshire free on the far side Devonshire tries to come inside Potts loses it out but it's picked up and cleaned up by uh, Walford that's a nice back healer by Swindlehurst setting up Paul Allen oh that's a beautiful move by Allen unfortunately cut down there by Paul Gardner the referee will definitely have something to say about that and Gardner's name goes into the book yes a beautiful slip pass by uh, Paul uh, Allen got past uh, Paul Gardner Gardner took him down free kick to be taken by Devonshire that's uh, David Swindlehurst there's Devonshire standing over the ball two behind him Cody and uh, Alvin Martin he runs it to Cody Cody takes a shot over the top David Brown delighted to see that one going over the top but it shows you the, the, the West Ham uh, philosophy. They can bring a young guy into their side like uh, Cody. There he is. Young man came into the side last season and was a sensation. He's back to the side this season again and he's hammering in the goals. Ball in the center circle. Nilar getting it up in the air. That's Pike rising for it with Coleman. And that's Cody again back in the action. There's Potts putting the ball off of Walford. Throw into uh, Berry. Gardner rolling it back to DC. Long ball forward, cut out by Pike to Swindlehurst. Swindlehurst to Allen. Allen trying to find Devonshire loose on the far side, cut out by Paul Gardner. He sets Berry up, but that's a poor pass taken down by uh, Devonshire over on the far side. Nice ball inside, there's Cody. No, it looks, uh, yes, it looked as if uh, big uh, Steve Walford was offside there for a minute. The Reinsman on this side kept his flag down. The referee says a corner. I did think for a minute that, uh, and I think uh, big Steve Walford thought he was offside as well. Corner kick taken by Alan Devonshire. Alvin Martin gone up for this one. There is Martin, rises for it, heads it forward. David Brown off his line to tidy up. Yes, Barry will have to uh, sort of try and go forward a little bit more. They're sort of being bogged out in midfield and they're uh, losing out to... Um, putting high balls into the West Ham uh, penalty area because the West Ham de defence can gobble all that up forward to Spence this is Spence and uh, Orr Neil Orr putting it out of play that's Eric Potts in his second season with Berry. Paul Garner taking the troll Long ball headed up in the air by Walford, chested down by Swindlehurst to Devonshire. Devonshire and Gardner tussling for it. And the uh, linesman over on the far side waves that uh, yellow flag. He decides that it's a free kick to uh, West Ham. Steve Walford. Bangs it clear. Here's Potts. See if Eric Potts can set something up for Berry against the 10 men West Ham side. But Trevor Brooking is coming on over on the far side, coming out of the tunnel. And Parks tidies it up while Brooking is uh, looking over here to referee David Letts to see if he can come on. David Letts waves Brooking back into action. And Brooking is going to stay over there on the uh, left hand uh, touch of the uh, touchline. Here's Spence. Can he set up something for Berry? Nice ball inside for Wayne Entwistle, but that, uh, that's taken out by. Uh, Ray Stewart here's Barry here's the Barry captain Joe Jacob tussling down there with uh, Paul Allen that's Ray Stewart to Paul Allen and he's got it clear this is Brooking back in action again and he's always in where the uh, danger is there's Trevor and that's a uh, by Stewart putting the ball back to um, Parks. There's Brooking back on, got a nasty bang, but um, Trevor won't stay out of the action. He's going to be really badly hurt to stay away from the action of this game. West Ham lead by five goals to nil. Brooking again, back in action. Nice ball to Devonshire. Devonshire trying to break through the uh, Berry defence, taking them on, but the ball out here to the side to the Berry captain, Joe Jacob. Forward, trying to get around. He gets away from Stewart. He's got... Uh, Entwistle free down here. Neil Orr coming across to uh, confront Entwistle. 
He's got uh, Terry Pashley, the uh, fullback, down to help him. Nice ball inside to Coleman. Coleman swings away from one man, chips it forward, but there's no one there at all. And that's a very easy clearance for Phil Parks. Parks finds Trevor Brooking. Brooking carrying a handkerchief in his uh, hand, but he still moves forward into the buried area over the far side to uh, Cody. Cody to Devonshire. Nice ball forward again. Brooking picked up a beautiful position there. He falls. He recovers. He falls again. Eric Potts trying to tidy it up. And it's out for throw in. There's Trevor. You can see uh, some blood marks down his, uh, down his uh, shorts there. But he says he's okay to uh, Jeff Pike. Corner kick. Devonshire floats it in. Big Alvin Martin's head is there. Down, and that's a nice goal again. Big Alvin Martin heading the ball down. And Cody puts it away again. The man they can't stop at Upton Park tonight. Young Tony Cody, corner taken by Devonshire. Loaded across, and there he is in picture. The man the Berry defence can't hold. Four goals for him, six goals for West Ham. Twenty minutes gone in the second half, and it's six nil to West Ham. Barry trying to get some consolation out of this. Ball forward, Nilar falling over. Foul says referee David Letts. Free kick to West Ham. There's Alvin Martin. Went up for that corner kick by Devonshire, headed the ball down, Cody at the end of it to pick it up and drive it past Brown. Swindlehurst into Brooking, Brooking beaten there by Hilton, Hilton across this side to Entwistle, Entwistle to his captain Jacob. Jacob, Joe Jacob has uh, Terry Pashley coming down on this side, Pashley back into the area. They rise for it, it falls down to Hilton, Hilton's shot, but that's the way wide, well wide at the goal, snapped at it was of course uh, confronted by uh, Alvin Martin Ray Stewart forward to Paul Allen Allen inside to Martin Martin trying to find uh, Cody Cody falls Entwistle picks it up Trevor Brooking Brooking pushes it back to uh, Steve Walford Walford has Devonshire loose on the left now he finds him Devonshire running inside uh, Paul Gardner then goes back outside him Linesman waves, referee blows the whistle, free kick to West Ham. Steve Walford and Devonshire over there. Is Devonshire confronted by Eric Potts, forward to Brooking. Brooking to Devonshire. These two really get it together. They can really read each other's actions. This is a nice ball across to Ray Stewart. Stewart inside to Cody. Cody a nice flick off for a return pass. But uh, Berry got in the way, the Berry defenders got in the way and cleared it West Ham still building down in front of us here Terry Pashley and Cody tussling for it Pashley's forced to put it out of play Ray Stewart with the troll he's got Brooking running running for him and he throws it forward to Alvin Martin Martin brings it down on his knee bounces it around back to Devonshire Devonshire tries a shot it hits hits the uh, full back Paul Gardner and his eventually cleared by Berry big tussle in there between Nor Neil Orr and Spencer Spence gets it uh, but loses it out to uh, Orr Orr forward and there's a right mix up in the Berry defence again between Paul Gardner and his goalkeeper this time David Brown Brown grabs it at the second attempt and Cody and Paul Allen were breathing down the uh, fullback's neck Clear from Brown to Pike, taken down by Swindlehurst. Forward to Devonshire. Devonshire running straight at the uh, defence, and that's a good goal. Yes, he deserved that goal, Alan Devonshire. And the whole West Ham side come over to congratulate him. He's built an awful lot for them tonight. He's been the master ma magician behind most of the uh, build-up for West Ham with Brooking tonight. A good goal, he deserved that. A rocket of a shot from uh, Alan Devonshire, straight past David Brown. You knew the minute he set his sights up on the target that it was going to go in. 
seven goals to nil this is Derek Spence but you must give credit to uh, the Berry side they have continued to play football even though, though they have been completely outclassed by the uh, West Ham side tonight that's Alan Devonshire making it uh, making it 7-0 to West Ham this is Derek Spence on the far side So after 67 minutes, West Ham lead by uh, seven goals to nil. Four of them to Tony Cody, one to one each to Alvin Martin, Trevor Brooking, and to Alan Devonshire. That was a good goal from Devonshire. That will certainly please his fans because uh, even John Loyal, manager here at West Ham, says that Devonshire doesn't score as many goals as he should. This is Jeff Pike. Pike across to Devonshire again. Devonshire forward to Brooking. The two of them, as I said, the magicians who have really wafted a wand here tonight against the uh, very defence. They've wafted magic. Two of them seem to know where both of them will be running, where to push the ball. They don't even have to look. Devonshire with a corner for West Ham. Long ball again, Martin coming in at it, that's Pike. Strong shot from Pike, but way off target. Yes, as I was saying, uh, manager down here, John Lyle, thinks that Alan Devonshire should score a lot of goals, but he's a great playmaker for West Ham, and um, maybe... Uh, there'll be renewed calls for him to be included back in uh, Bobby Robson's England side he's been in the squad but not included in the team for the last two internationals a couple of more displays like tonight he could be back in there this is Steve Walford running the ball back to uh, Phil Parks not far enough but that's a nice clearance from Phil Parks to Walford Paul Gardner heading it forward again for Berry. this is Alvin Martin showing a, a touch of a uh, little bit of English class about that of course, brought back by Bobby Robson for the last England international. This is Steve Walford. Walford up the line, finding Cody again. Cody being tackled there by uh, Bramall. Bramall fouls him. Free kick to uh, West Ham. Devonshire, Walford standing over it. Devonshire. Referee says, you played a rolling ball, stop it. Let's take it again. They do. It's the same formula. Here's Devonshire, Brooking. Brooking forward to Devonshire. Devonshire trying to get into the area. He's pushed off the ball by Paul Gardner, and that's a penalty. Well, he did it right in front of the referee's nose. David lets no hesitation at all. And it's Ray Stewart, the penalty taker for West Ham. Coming up 25 minutes gone in the second half. Ray Stewart placing it on the spot against David Brown. And Ray Stewart the penalty king at Upton Park here's Stewart bang goal number 8 in off the upright even though Brown went the right way Stewart putting it away to Brown's right hit that upright and went right across the net to the other side 8 goals to nil Seventy minutes gone in this uh, second round, second leg, Milk Cup tie at Upton Park and West Ham lead by eight goals to nil. Four goals for Cody, one for Alvin Martin, one for Trevor Brooking, one for Alan Devonshire and the last, the penalty from Ray Stewart. Ball over on the uh, far side. Eight goals to nil for West Ham. And of course they could uh, set up a Milk Cup record here. Because um, 11 goals is the uh, record. And they've still got plenty of time. They lead by eight goals to nil. David Brown. Certainly can't be faulted for uh, 
all of those eight goals tonight. He certainly could be faulted, I think, for the first one. I would blame him for the first one, but after that, he's completely exonerated. They've just been overrun the very side by a very, very powerful unsung West Ham team. Dick DC forward to see if they can salvage something. That's Derek Spence. Spence to Eric Potts. Potts behind to Paul Gardner. Cross. That's end whistle. A nice header. Well directed, but Potts was well behind it. Alvin Martin. Well, it seems that some of the West Ham players down there realised that a record could be on. Here's Jeff Pike. Pike trying to turn it out the far side. Bramall forward. End whistle. Back to Jacobs. Jacobs receives it back again from Hilton. This is a nice build up by Barry. They continue to play football. Gardner inside to Jacob. Jacob can't get her on his famous left favourite left foot and is cleared by West Ham. Cross this side to Brooking. Here's West Ham coming forward. Five of them. Brooking. He's got Paul Allen outside him. This is Allen. Allen being faced by uh, Terry Pashley. Ball out of play. Referee says it's a uh, Barry Troll. They take it quickly. This is Entwistle. He's got Potts running free on the far side. He finds him. Potts trying to find uh, Paul Hilton, who's moved up into the uh, centre forward position for Barry. Ball cut out. Throw in Paul Gardner. Gardner's throw misdirected. Tried to find Hilton. Cut out by Pike. Pike back to uh, Walford. Walford finds Swindlehurst. And now it's back with Spence. Spence to Hilton, Hilton to Potts. Can Potts do something about it? Confronted by Walford over there. Comes back to uh, Paul Gardner. The fullback has a go himself. It hit the number five, uh, Paul Hilton, but still went wide. Goal kick. As you can see, some of the West Ham supporters down there behind uh, Phil Park's goal, excited about it. They're eight goals up. Very comfortable indeed, and they've seen some uh, fabulous goals here at Upton Park tonight. This is Paul Allen and uh, Terry Pashley tussling for it, but it goes all the way back from uh, Ray Stewart to Phil Parks. This is Neil Orr. Neil Orr through the middle finds Dave Swindlehurst. Swindlehurst to uh, Devonshire. Devonshire over this side to Martin. Big Alvin pushing everyone forward. That's headed forward by Paul Allen, taken up by Bramall. And he finds Entwistle. Entwistle to Joe Jacob, his captain. Cross to uh, Gordon Coleman. Coleman has uh, Paul Gardner free on the far side. Gardner with a lot of room. What can he do with it? Centers down to uh, Entwistle. Entwistle, an overhead shot, but uh, that's well off target. And is cleared by Ray Stewart to Devonshire. Devonshire inside to Brooking. Brooking runs it on to Pike. Pike, there's three against three here. This is Jeff Pike. He's got uh, Swindlehurst free on the uh, right. There's Swindlehurst. Cut into the area. Swindlehurst tries to shot himself. Just off target. Swindlehurst might have been better to try and find Devonshire because he had Devonshire up beside him. Seventy-six minutes gone in the game. And West Ham lead by eight goals to nil. David Brown. Headed forward by Martin to uh, Cody. Cody to Brooking. Brooking's got Swindlehurst running free for him. There's Swindlehurst being placed by DC. DC uh, shoulder charging the uh, West Ham centre forward away from uh, play. Clearing it across the far side to Paul Gardner. Gardner to Entwistle. Entwistle trying to find Hilton. Instead finds Pike, but Pike loses out to Hilton. Hilton then loses out, and this is Brooking trying to tidy it all up for West Ham. Back to Ray Stewart. Stewart looking around, seeing who's got, who's free. Instead, he plays it. Short ball to Alvin Martin. There's Martin cutting through the middle. The big man getting encouragement from the crowd here. He's got Paul Allen free on the right. This is Allen. Straight away, good cross. Taken out by Terry Pashley. Back to Allen. Allen's got control again. This is Alvin Martin. Martin forward to Brooking. Brooking, nice ball inside to Devonshire. That's a bad foul. 
Yes, Devonshire taken down from behind. A bad foul there by uh, Gordon Coleman. The referee puts his hand up and says, you know it was a nasty one, so don't say anything. Coleman walks away. Devonshire lying still in the ground. And here's the West Ham trainer on. And he's well togged up. As I said, it's a, it's a cold night here at uh, Upton Park in uh, East London. So he's uh, togged up well for the cold, the same as the rest of us are. A couple, uh, couple of our cameramen in uh, very strange positions up on the uh, grandstand. They could complain about the cold. There's Tony Cody, a young man, as I said, came into the West Ham side. He must be very, very pleased with his performance tonight. He's been around the area, been running into very good positions, and he snapped up four goals for the Hammers. There's Dave Swindlehurst. Uh, a lot of credit must go to him because he's been doing some very unselfish running off the ball. He's gone into the danger zone. He's been smack bang in the middle of the Berry defence. Dave Swindlehurst signed, of course, uh, during the uh, close season. Now we got a free kick uh, taken by Ray Stewart. Stewart crossed the far side, cleared by the uh, Berry defence, went off the head of DC for a corner. And, of course, he looked around because the two big uh, West Ham men were coming in there behind him. Dave Swindlehurst was uh, one of them. Corner kick to be taken by Alan Devonshire. Nice ball across this side. This is Swindlehurst. And he looks as if he was pushed in the back. He's down on the ground. He looks back. DC says, nothing. I didn't do anything. Innocence written all over his face. Pike back to Neil Orr. Or to Ray Stewart. Ray Stewart tried to find Brooking, Joe Jacob coming over there, and he turns it back to the goalkeeper. And this is David Brown. Out to Terry uh, Pashley. Pashley aiming forward to try and find uh, Wayne Entwistle, cut out by Paul Allen. Throwing to Berry right down underneath us here. Pashley gets it back from his captain, down the line to uh, Derek Spence. Spence trying to pull it over Ray Stewart's, but Ray Stewart's head, well, Ray Stewart knew all about that one. He's seen that before. Ball bouncing around, Colty in there, and sandwiched between the two Berry players. Free kick to uh, West Ham. This is Ray Stewart. Long ball forward to Swindlehurst. Two of the Berry players rise, but this is Brooking. Brooking with a shot, and it's deflected. That's number nine. An own goal. Nice shot from Trevor Brooking. He aimed it on target. Hit the defender. Went past David Brown. And nine goals to nil for West Ham. There's no way that Trevor Brooking would claim that. He'd be the first to admit that it was an OG. It went off with John Bramall. There's Bramall back with the, uh, with the ball in possession now. This is Nick DC. Nine goals to nil. And we still got uh, ten minutes of play left. Elvin Martin starting another West Ham attack. Out of defence into attack. To Brooking, to Martin. He's cutting into the Berry area. They're looking for this record, it seems. Is Devonshire free on the left, fronted by Gardner. Devonshire bringing it back, finds Brooking. Brooking finds Alvin Martin free over there. Can Martin get it across with his left foot? No, he decides to turn it back. He turns it back instead to Walford. Walford shot charged down. This is Brooking into the area, going forward again. Brooking still has it, hooks it back. Is there anyone there to turn it in? Yes, there is. Swindlehurst with an overhead kick as Paul Allen came in. It would have been better for Swindlehurst if he had left it to Allen over the top. It could have been 10, but I don't think David Swindlehurst heard Paul Allen shout. Dave Swindlehurst, a couple of exciting overhead kicks tonight. That one maybe would have been better left to uh, Paul Allen. He could have made it uh, 10. Free kick to uh, West Ham, pushing there by uh, Wayne Entwistle. 
Alvin Martin forward to Devonshire running on the left cut out by uh, Paul Gardner Gardner forward to Hilton Hilton to Entwistle referee and linesman on the far side waves his flag says that Entwistle was elbowing over there Neil Orr free kick to West Ham Steve Walford forward to Brooking to Walford again Walford now coming up into the action to see if he can get his name on the score sheet this is Derek Spence can he take it away for, uh, for Berry instead he turns it back to goalkeeper David Brown this is uh, Terry Pashley Pashley forward trying to find Spence he does instead he finds uh, the uh, Berry captain and it goes off the West Ham player throw into Berry is Joe Jacob again back to Terry Pashley he's got Chris Hilton in the middle or, yeah Paul Hilton in the middle but uh, couldn't get it across this is Brooking Terry Pashley got it back again hits Pike and banged away by Ray Stewart there's no one over there this is uh, Paul Gardner bringing it forward for Berry nice ball in the middle Nilor rises he cuts it out Walford heads it down and this is Jeff Pike but he loses out to Joe Jacob Berry captain, and he in turn loses out, and this is Pike cleaning it all up for West Ham to Brooking. And Brooking's got Allen free on this side, finds Allen with a nice ball. Allen going to take it up. No, he crosses far side. Swindlehurst coming in, unlucky. Nearly got to it. David Swindlehurst, as I said, done some very unselfish things tonight, playing the ball forward, pushing it around. Young Cody able to pick up one or two goals from nice little flicks from Swindlehurst very unselfish play from him but nearly getting onto the score sheet himself that time fall back from Paul Allen to Ray Stewart Stewart's got Alvin Martin on this side there's the big uh, England international going forward for uh, West Ham again pulls it across to Swindlehurst Swindlehurst to Brooking Brooking back to Swindlehurst has he got a chance of scoring his goal no he doesn't it's run loose and it's taken out by Berry Berry get it to uh, Entwistle Entwistle to Paul Hilton and he puts a long ball back to Entwistle again. This is Neil Orr. He's going to beat uh, Entwistle for it. Tidies it all up. Back to Walford. And Walford back to Phil Parks. Five minutes of this uh, game remaining on the clock. West Ham lead by nine goals to nil. Trevor Brooking in midfield. Being confronted by Gardner. Finds Devonshire over the far side. My God, they got an awful lot of space over there. Walford with him. Here's Devonshire. Walford running forward, taking a man. Devonshire now being confronted by Paul Hilton and three men over there he still finds Brooking nice ball inside this is Devonshire bang again. beautiful goal looking at Devonshire again brilliant goal from the combination of Brooking and Devonshire that's ten goals to nil that is the record or it equals the record for a mid cup ten goals that one a Brooking Devonshire special Eighty-five minutes gone, and West Ham lead by ten goals to nil. Eric Potts, this fourth division side, just don't know what hit them down here at Upton Park tonight. This is Devonshire again. Look at that, dribbling it forward. Long ball, beautiful ball back to uh, Devonshire. He's round the defender. He's got round Bramall. Can he get around the other man? No, he can't. Terry Pashley gets over there, bangs the ball off of uh, Devonshire, and that's a goal kick. Ten goals equals the uh, Milk Cup record. One more goal to set a new record. Ten goals to nil here at Upton Park. West Ham lead Derry. That's Entwistle. This is Paul Allen taking it down for Ray Stewart. Ray Stewart looking up field trying to find Swindlehurst and uh, Tony Cody this is uh, Jeff Pike Jeff Pike back to uh, Steve Walford Walford forward this is Cody running with DC for a DC heads it clear to Paul Hilton Hilton to Entwistle Entwistle to Paul Gardner Gardner forward but uh, that's tidied up by Neil Orr and here's Phil Parks long clearance from Parks to uh, Swindlehurst 
Swindlehurst out jumped falls to Brooking Brooking's got Allen free on this side he finds him he's got the race Stewart behind him but Allen decides to take on Pashley himself cross ball down to Cody runs loose tied it up by uh, Joe Jacob the Berry captain back to uh, David Brown well anyone would think that a goalkeeper who has left 10 goals past him tonight would have had a nightmare but certainly that's not the case with David Brown he's performed very well but it's just that West Ham were just too good for this Berry side this is Joe Jacob the uh, Berry captain going forward being confronted by Alvin Martin out to Derek Spence Spence a long ball into the middle but uh, Neil Orr got there first and this is Ray Stewart to Orr Orr looking this side of the field for Tony Cody he finds him nice ball he's got Brooking inside him Brooking running off the ball this is Orr back to uh, Orr from there to Allen Paul Allen far post ball who's in there Swindlehurst heads it down but not enough power behind it after the power was taken off it by uh, the jump of Paul Gardner Swindlehurst just can't get his name on the score sheet here well he's got about uh, two minutes on uh, my watch to do it ten goals to nil for West Ham falls down to Entwistle Entwistle and Alvin Martin tussling for it it comes loose to Walford Walford to Allen Paul Allen takes it down far side to Cody too far forward Paul Garner going to leave a run out over the sideline throw in throws it back to David Brown all the crowd still staying here at uh, Upton Park seeing if uh, West Ham can get 11 they got a minute and a half to go long clearance from uh, Derry goalkeeper Brown finds Walford on the far side Walford to Devonshire see if Devonshire can set up the goal number 11 for West Ham inside to Cody back to Devonshire again can Devonshire get it across Swindlehurst is waiting inside Devonshire taken down over there by Paul Gardner free kick to uh, West Ham and the whole West Ham side all up into the Berry area for this free kick the only man staying back is Ray Stewart and Ray Stewart is a lone man in an island because he's even inside the Berry half free kick to be taken over there Devonshire and Walford standing over the ball what's it going to be they've got Swindlehurst to aim at Cody to aim at De that's a cross ball down to Neil Orr and he just headed it down nearly got that goal that they needed this is uh, Wayne Entwistle for Berry Wayne Entwistle he's got the man free Joe Jacob is captain but he's now being covered by Paul Allen and that's Allen cutting it out he saw the danger and the uh, Berry captain Joe Jacob pretty disgusted with Wayne Entwistle because he wanted that ball a lot earlier Paul Allen raced back and that's it the final whistle goes David Letts the referee from Basingstow brings the game to a, a conclusion here at Upton Park and West Ham have won the second round second leg game by 10 goals to nil four goals for young Tony Cote goals for Devonshire for Brooking for Alvin Martin and for Ray Stewart and one own goal and the West Ham supporters down here at Upton Park not slow in appreciating the performance from Berry, even though they were completely outclassed the fourth division side certainly gave all they had completely outplayed in this game they lose to West Ham in the second round second leg Milk Cup tie by 10 goals to nil